Welcome back to the channel. Let's make some red fish and pasta. All right, so you see the proteins. I got some whole red fish. We're going to call them Laverne and Shirley Bay. We got some shrimp right there. We got some smoked gouda and some creamy mozzarella cheese. We got some veggie mix, which is my red onion, yellow bell pepper, and some garlic. All right, I had pre-cooked my noodles and kept them in some water. I'm going to make some nice little slices, cuts. Yeah, cuts into Laverne here. And then we're going to do Shirley in a minute. I hope y'all know me Laverne and Shirley. <laughs> Don't want to offend the masses, honey. So we got our cuts in there. And then what we're fixing to do is steam some broccoli because I want to put some broccoli into the pasta. But you just want to lightly steam it and uh, rinse it with cold water, set it to the side. We're about to make our bechamel sauce, or actually our Alfredo sauce. So I'm going to put two to three tablespoons of butter in mine. You do yours, however your cholesterol allow you to do it, honey. And you're going to want to allow it to melt. Once the butter melts, we're going to add in, I added a quarter of a cup of all-purpose flour, but it's just going to depend on how many people you're cooking for. All right, so that quarter of a cup, flour was just a little bit too much for that butter so i'm about to add some more butter and why are you cooking this honey it's gonna smell so good but all it is is some flour and some freaking butter why it smells so good i don't know but it does anyway so i added me another couple of tablespoons of butter because i needed it that's the only reason you gotta have what you need honey then you're gonna need you some heavy whipping cream that's going to be coming up in a second. Why are we sitting here stirring? How y'all doing? Huh? How your mama and them, your daddy and them, your auntie and them, your cousin and them? How are you? Have you checked in on you lately? Child, I got so much going on on this side of the mountain. I did y'all a morning video, but I didn't post it because I just didn't think I was looking. I don't know. I always be looking a hot mess until I fix myself up, but... I just, you know, I don't know. Maybe I'll post it. Maybe I won't. Anyway, back to this little lovely sauce. All right, so I'm cooking the flour. That's all I'm doing. If you need to make a nice bechamel sauce for something, one of your dishes, that's all you need is some flour and some butter, honey. But now we're fixing to uh, get, get into this Alfredo sauce. So I'm going to add in about mm, two cups of heavy whipping cream. Nope, that look like about a cup and a half. Nope, there go that too. <laughs> anyway, you're going to add in some heavy whipping cream. And then I had my heat on medium high. You want to bring it to a nice little bar, but you want to stir it together really well. Get you a cup of water, okay? Because it's going to get thick, and it's going to get thick real quick. But we're going to season it up first, and I like to season it mine with some garlic powder. If you don't have no garlic powder in your house, honey, that is a staple in the kitchen. Garlic powder, onion powder. Y'all know how it go. They go there onion powder. You got to have some flavor. Don't nobody want you serving them some flavorless groceries. Don't nobody want that. Ain't nobody got time for that, honey. All right, so let's go ahead and put in some salt. And the reason I'm using pink salt, you can use regular iodine salt, uh, because I didn't want to change the color of my sauce to any of the color of my seasoning, because my seasonings have like paprika and all that good stuff in there now i'm adding some black pepper why because i like flavor and it make it taste good all right you're gonna want to stir that really well all right you see what i was talking about it get thick real quick honey and i ain't talking about like them thighs baby so you're gonna put a, a cup of water in there and keep you some water to the side in case it decides to get thick real quick again but I turned my heat down some, so that should uh, settle that down just a little bit. There go that whisk. Yes, honey, you got to whisk it together. The wooden spoon can take you only so far, darling. But uh, put a little elbow grease in there and uh, whisk it together real good. And then get ready to pour in your cheese. All right, I'm using smoked gouda and mozzarella. You can use whatever cheese you want, but these work really well in this Alfredo sauce. It was, it was delicious. I ain't going to even lie to you. It was delicious. I'm going to pat myself on the back for this one, honey. 
yes 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 all right so yeah mix that together really well and then we're going to add our noodles there you go make sure those noodles were sitting in some cold water because adding them back to this heat they're going to cook some more and you want to stop that cooking process after you have cooked the noodles we're going to push every all them noodles down into that sauce we fixing to uh go ahead and fry up uh, some little sausage to go in there now i put the noodles in put the sauce in put it on the back eye of the stove and i turn the heat on low so it can simmer it's still going to you know continue to thicken as it sits there but we're going to go ahead and add the sausage into the noodle and alfredo sauce just like that right there i was trying to be cute honey ain't nobody got time for cute but there we go and we're not going to clean that pan out because we want what those juices from the sausage to mix in with the olive oil because now we're getting ready to add in our veggie mix which is bell pepper i use a yellow bell pepper purple onion and some garlic and i just mince them all together that way you ain't got you know crunching down on a whole bunch of veggies but yet you still got the flavor in your groceries honey and we're gonna fry that down until it's no longer um i guess soggy so we're gonna cook all of the water off you got to get all that off before adding it into the mixture as you can see what i've done there all right you see what i'm talking about by getting that extra water off it looks a little dry that's how you want it that's exactly how you want it before adding it to the uh alfredo sauce look at that we putting this pasta together baby this is build the pasta honey ah, we're gonna add some more olive oil to the same pan because we're fixing to uh, fry up our shrimp so we're gonna add in laverne and shirley little cousins little baby cousins the shrimp yes and we're gonna season that with some bow rays honey because we can have some flavor all up and through this dish and you can find the uh Season it on our website, Bow Race Cajun. Nope, I said it wrong. Bow Race CQ All right, we're going to do garlic powder. That's all I add is Bow Race and garlic powder. It makes them taste so good. All right, mix those shrimp around and around and around and around and around. All right, we're going to add that, all of that deliciousness into our pasta throw that pasta right back there keep that pan just like it is because we're going to toss those steamed broccoli lightly steamed because you want to still have a little crunch to the broccoli we're going to add it to the pan and it's going to take on all that seasoning that's in the pan and we're just going to toss them around just a little bit you do not want soggy broccoli in this pasta we're going to add it to the pasta and now we can mix everything together. Let them get married. While they are getting married, we're going to say, hey, we done cooked. Let's eat. Hey, everybody repeat. I like it hot. All right, so I'm adding some sriracha sauce because I like it spicy. Now, you add as much as you want or don't add it at all. Some people are sensitive to spices don't add it but if you want it spicy just a little bit goes a long ways that is the italian spaghetti season that i always keep a bottle of you can find that at sam's you just need a little bit of that get that in there it looked like i added a lot because it's sitting on top but i didn't i added about a tablespoon if that yeah about a tablespoon i'm add a little cumin because cumin amps up the flavor of your groceries honey Trust me, you're gonna like it. You're gonna like it. Yes, you are. All right, we got that mixed up. We're gonna put that on the back eye. Now we're gonna start our fish. So I'm gonna use some Louisiana fish fry. Just gonna get that in there. It's actually half a bag left over from the last time I fried fish. And then we're going to, if you're going to cook a whole red fish, trust me. Look, look, look here. You might wanna cut off the fins. Cause that sap sucker stuck me, hun chad. Felt like a, a, ooh, a needle, honey. It hurt. So cut them off. 
Unless you got a bigger bowl than what I did. I don't know why I like cramped spaces, but <laughs> that's what I did today. And you want to get it, um, I didn't put no seasoning on there, okay? Because the, the batter has seasoning in it, so I did not add any extra seasoning. You want to get your grease hot, honey, and you want to drop it in there. Go on, Laverne, and fry up. Here comes Shirley. Don't you worry about Laverne. Shirley is on her way, child. And there she is. Ain't no burn without sharing the honey chat. And let them babies fry, fry, fry. All right, now they have fried and we're going to lift them up out of there and we're going to put them on paper towel, let them drain just a little bit. But if you have a wild rack, you can do that too. Make it nice for yourself, but you want them to be nice and crispy. Okay? This redfish is so delicious. All right, your pasta been sitting there for a little minute. You want to get it a nice little stir before adding it to the plate. I didn't plate this as good as I normally could because, Chad, it's a whole lot of packing going over here, I, going on over here. I'll let y'all know what I got going on at a later date, but not right now. All right, so look how pretty it is. The flavor for this dish was so freaking delicious. I don't need to talk no more. Y'all see what's popping off. And if you try this recipe, I would love for you to share that with me. Uh, talk about it in the comments. Go on the website. Talk about it in the blog. All right. All right. We're going to put that fit, nice piece of fried fish on there. And then we're going to kind of fix it, make it look halfway decent. But anyway, thank y'all for sitting here and hanging out with your girl. I love you. See you on the next video. Hope you enjoy Bye. Mm -hmm.